Hello friends, this video sequence and series part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched videos part 1 to part 18. We will solve this example. It's a little tricky. We are asked to find sum of n terms of series 5, 11, 19, 29, 41. So if you see the series, the difference here is 6. This is 8. This is 10. And this is 12. So if you see the difference is not constant, but you notice the difference is an AP. Example, we find difference of 8 and 6, this is 2, this is also 2, this is also. So this is a scenario where the difference of term is an AP. So we here will follow a standard approach. We have to use the same approach when we get a series where the series is not an AP, but the difference in the series is an AP. So in such case, first we write SN, that is nothing but 5 plus 11 plus 19 plus 29 plus 41, then we have AN minus 1 and then we have A. This is the sum of series. To solve these questions, we will also write this series once again in this fashion, we will write 5. 11, 19, and then we'll write this as uh, 29. This will become a n minus 1, and this will become 3. Just remember the steps what we are doing. When we have a series where the difference is an AP, so we have to write in this form, and then we'll subtract this. So we subtract this, this becomes 0, this becomes 5 plus. 11 minus 5 is 6, correct? 19 minus 11 is 8, this becomes 10, this becomes 12, dot dot dot. This is a Tn of this series. This is not An, this is Tn of the series and this will become minus A. Why we have Tn? We observe this, this was A1. So A1 of this series is A1 of this series. T1 of the series, correct? So when I'm saying this is A2 or T2, this is same. So this series and this series matches, but that this series and this doesn't match because we are starting from here and we are starting from here. So here this was An minus 1, so this will also become Tn minus 1. So we have got this series. So that is, we are told that An of the first series is nothing but 5 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 dot 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 t n minus 1. Please note this is a different series altogether which we have got by subtracting. This is this series actually. Now this is nothing but 5 plus here a is equal to 6. Correct? I want to say here a is equal to 6 and d is equal to 2. So we can use this formula. Or n n is equal to n minus one actually because there are n minus one terms. Correct. So we can use this formula. So formula is n by two, that is n minus one by two, because here n is equal to n minus one. Two a a is equal to six plus n minus one. This will become n minus two into two. Please note what we have done here. Since the number of term is n minus one, so we will say that n is equal to n minus one. So here this becomes n minus 2. So we'll solve this equation 2 and 2 is gone. So what we get is 5 plus n minus 1 into n plus 5. because n minus 2 plus 6 is this. So this is a n or a n is nothing but n squared plus 3n plus 1. We will get this because n square minus 4 is plus 5 is 1 and 3n will get. Sorry, this will become 4n. You can solve this also if you want. This is 5 plus n into n is n square plus 4n minus n minus 4. So what we get? So minus n plus 4n, this becomes 3n. 
and minus 4 plus 5 is becomes 1. So n square plus 3n plus 1. That is the answer. So nth term, that is a n, nth term of this series is n square plus 3n plus 1. So you want to find the sn, sum of terms of n is nothing but, since the first term is n square, so this will become, we know sum of n square terms, that is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6, this is n square plus 3, sum of terms of n form, that is n into n plus 1 by 2, and if you add 1 n times, this becomes n. So this will be the value of Sn. Very simple. In such case where the difference is in AP, we write this equation in this form and we get this An term. We find the An term. An term we know, we got this An term. Since we have An term, we can very simply find the Sn term. And that's what we have. We'll take one more example. It's pretty simple. So we are told that we have to find the sum of n terms whose nth term is n into n plus 1. It's very simple. We have, we have been told that tn is equal to n into n plus 1. That is n square plus 3. So since tn is equal to this, sn is nothing but sigma of n square plus 3 sigma of n. Correct? So this is nothing but n into n plus 1. 2n plus 1 by 6, the formula which we have learned, plus 3 into sigma of n is n into n plus 1 by 2. Very simple, we have used this formula. Now we can now we can take n into n plus 1 common. Take n into n plus 1 by 2, we can take common. So this becomes 2n plus 1 by 3, and this becomes 3. So this is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2. This becomes 2n plus 1 plus 9 by 3. So this becomes n into n plus 1 by 2 into 3 into 2 common and this becomes n plus 5. Because 2n plus 1 is 10, so 2 common is 1 5. It's cancelled. So our answer is n into n plus 1, n plus 5 by 3. That is our answer. Very simple. We know tn. To find sn, you just need to add sigma here. Summation, summation, summation. And we got this answer. Let's take one tricky question. Let's say that pth, qth, rf term and sf term of, of an ap are in gp. So that means t of p, pth term, T of Q, T of R, and T of S. This is in GP. So given, we have to prove that prove that P minus Q, Q minus R, R minus S are also in GP. Hope this question is clear. T P, T Q, T R, T S, where this is A P. The whole thing is in GP. That means P H term, Q H term, R S term, S term is in GP. We have to prove that P minus Q, Q minus R, and R minus S is GP. So for A P, where A P is like this, A A plus D, A plus two D. This is A P we have. For this A P, T P is nothing but P H term is A plus P minus one D. This is the P H term. Similarly, TQ is nothing but A plus Q, Q minus 1 into D. TR is nothing but A plus R minus 1 D. And T of S is nothing but A plus S minus 1. So we have this term and this is nothing but a GP. Now since this is GP, so we can say that T Q will divide this by this T Q by T P. When you divide this by T, you get R. This is same as if you divide R by T R by T Q is equal to T R by T Q. This is Q, please note. 
when I divide TQ by TT, this is nothing but TR by TQ. Or what we can do, we can use this formula if A by B is equal to C by D, that also means that A minus C by B minus D is equal to this things. Correct? Because we have this formula A by B is equal to C by D then the whole thing is also equal to A minus C by B minus D. So we can say this itself is equal to TQ minus TR by TP minus TQ. Correct? And when you say TQ minus TR, this is equal to R actually. The ratio, common ratio. Not this R, I'll say R ratio. Ratio of GP, GP ratio. Right? TQ minus TR is, if you subtract this and this, what you get is TQ is A plus Q minus 1D minus TR is A plus R minus 1D. Similarly here, similarly here TP minus TQ is A plus P minus 1D minus A plus Q minus 1 D. So this comes or we can say GP ratio is constant. This is equal to A is A's cancel, D is D's cancel. This becomes Q minus R by P minus Q. That is first equation. Also, we can say that we will not divide these two equations. So we also say that GP ratio is also equal to here TR by TQ and this is equal to TS by TR. This time we took this two TR by TQ and TS by TR and this is also equal to TR minus TS by TQ minus TR. Do this formula? Ratio we have learned this. So this is nothing but A plus R minus 1D minus A plus S minus 1D. Correct. And this is A plus Q minus 1D minus A plus R minus 1. So this is equal to R minus S by Q minus. So this is equation 2. So we see equation 1 and 2, it says GP ratio is equal to this and equation 2 is equal to GP ratio is equal to R minus S by Q minus R. So in both the case GP ratio is common, so we can say from equation 1 and 2 we can say Q minus R by P minus Q is equal to R minus S by Q minus R. Or we can say Q minus R whole square is equal to P minus Q into R minus S. This is of this form, B square is equal to AC, right, where this is B, this is A, this is C. So in this case we can say that B, A, C are in GP. So here we can say that Q minus R, P minus Q and R minus S, these are in GP. That is P minus Q, Q minus R and R minus S in G. So we have proved this very simply. We were told that TP, TQ, TR, TS, they are in GP. Since they were in GP, we found the common ratio and we equated the equation to get this and this proves that P minus Q, Q minus R, and R minus S are in G. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.